Planet Coaster 2 has been announced and I'm confident it's going to have switch tracks. Yes, Planet Coaster 2 has officially been announced by Frontier and I'm sure your reaction was exactly the same as mine. Yeah, well, we already have that coaster. Oh, it's a water slide. It's a water slide. I'm sure we all played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Soaked, right? Right, guys? Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Soaked was... It, the definition of how you should do DLCs. We don't live in those days anymore, but we're, we're not talking about that. But putting aside the water parks for a second, people that have played Planet Coaster 1 for the years that it's been out have so many features that we want to be included in Planet Coaster 2. I know this announcement trailer is just to hype everyone up for the fact that water parks are in the game and obviously they've previewed a new surf coaster you can see one or two new flat rides i believe uh, new scenery pieces that's great but there are some things that we are really really hoping for after all these years can finally be in planet coaster 2. now frontier did choose a group of some of the best planet coaster creators on youtube to preview this announcement trailer and even preview some gameplay footage early and that's fantastic because we've got some extra insight from those youtubers as to what we could expect in planet coaster 2 and with that extra insight it's opened up even more questions for me and even more things i want to speculate about and the one of those that i'm talking about today is switch tracks and why i think it will be happening in Planet Coaster 2. So during this online preview event that the creators were invited to to preview Planet Coaster 2 early, they got the opportunity to do a Q&A with Frontier. And one of the questions that came up was, will there be drop tracks? And the answer was a unanimous yes. Now a drop track in itself is technically a switch track because it is taking you from one track to another. But I'm not counting that as a switch track. I'd call that a trick track. But to me, that almost confirms that switch tracks will be in the game. Would you stop ending? And here's why. Almost all roller coasters with a drop track in the world, the real world, have the train enter forwards or backwards and exit in the opposite direction. So let's use 13 at Alton Towers for an example. You enter forwards, drop and exit backwards. But obviously the train needs to be turned around forwards again before it enters the station again. So at the end of the ride on 13, you go over a switch track which pushes over and then you go forwards again to correct your direction. There's only one coaster, I believe. I'm gonna be proven wrong here, I'm certain of it, but I think it's the Bolton that has a drop track where you go in forwards, drop and leave forwards. But that to me almost seems like a weird one-off occasion. I wouldn't say that's the, the norm for drop tracks. But then I would say that seeing as the only drop track in this country is one that doesn't do that. So if my thinking is correct, we could have a drop track on a coaster and then follow it up with a switch track to re-correct the train's direction which would be very cool. Frontier is a UK-based game development studio, so I'm certain they must have been on 13 at Alton Towers. You know what you're doing, Frontier, please. But Switch Tracks open up a whole world of options, whether it be having trains in storage and a whole new level of management for the game. Like if your park's busier on one day, has more guests in the park, you could add more trains to the circuit. That's a new level of management we've never had in a theme park game before. Or just allowing us to make the craziest new elements on our roller coasters or send trains in all sorts of different directions. It would just be so much fun. But also, like I was saying with the drop tracks, you know, there's some drop tracks in the world where you enter forwards and exit backwards, like 13, or there's ones like Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure where you enter backwards and exit forwards. If we had a block section with kicker wheels and we could decide whether the, the wheels stop the train and then start it moving backwards, or start it moving forwards again. You know, that sort of thing would be 
really, really cool. And I don't think that's asking too much. You know, we have to remember that this isn't no limits. It's not a software designed for professional coaster manufacturing or anything like that. This is a game. So everything has to be user friendly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, things like that would be a worthy step up from Planet Coaster 1 to Planet Coaster 2. And I've also just noticed that drop slide is not safe in the slightest. I've been on a few drop water slides in the past. I know to enter a drop water slide, you have to open this door and that's a drop off. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think he's climbing into that tube slide anytime soon. But yeah, I could talk for ages about things that I really, really want in Planet Coaster 2. I would love to see things like offload station separate to the onload station or like lighting inside buildings to actually be dark during daytime so that we could make dark rides without having to switch the whole world to nighttime. That would be really cool too. Let me know what things you would like to see in Planet Coaster 2 when it eventually gets released in not even that long, full 2024 is not long at all. But yeah, comment below what you want in Planet Coaster 2 and subscribe if you'd want more Planet Coaster videos. Goodbye.